All right, y'all. I feel like I need to say something. And I know this might be ignorant. I might have should have just let it go. But <clears throat> I let a lot of stuff go. And this was about my kids. And I'm not messing around. So here's what happened. Well, let me start here. Let me give you a little education in child support. Child support, if it is not through a divorce decree, and sometimes even when it is, uh, it goes through the state of Tennessee. If you're the baby daddy or the non-custodial parent, we'll say, because it's baby mama's too, uh, you send, you have a case number, you send it to the state, and the state used to give you the option to um, deposit it into your bank account as the custodial parent, or you can get a paper check. Well, I don't know if it was costing too much money or they just wasn't making money off of it or whatever, but now they give you like a handy dandy little prepaid debit card and your child support gets loaded onto that as soon as the non-custodial parent pays it. So I've got this child support card and what I do is I'll just let it build up on there and then when I need a house payment, I go on there and take the money off and I go make a house payment. Well, it's through MasterCard, and every time you check the balance, whether you call or go to an ATM, I think it's like, and don't quote me here, this is like, um, this is like not exact numbers, but it's something like 50 cents to call and check what your balance is, and then it's like a dollar to go to an ATM and check what your balance is. So, basically, but you can go online, they have an app, but it doesn't work well, uh, you can go online to their website and use your username and password and check it anytime for free. But that's the only free way or keep up with it yourself um they do not have direct deposit you have to use this card so that you can uh get the payments in a timely manner i guess but also like you're supposed to be able to get four or five hundred a day off of it and i don't ever get money off of it unless i'm going to make a house payment or like it's mostly house payment because that's like about the only big bill that 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 I use it for. So, whatever, that's TMI, but, um, anyway, it, it says you can get four or five hundred a day, so I could just pay, you would think, four dollars and just drop by an ATM, like, Monday, and then drop by again on Tuesday and pay the two or three dollars for the fee and be done with it. Or you can go to a bank, uh, that uses MasterCard, which is almost none in this place I live in, uh, even like, I use the best bank around here, at Eastman Credit Union, uh, you'd be hard pressed to find anybody say anything bad about them, and, but they're a Visa bank, so I have to find a MasterCard bank, well, I find a MasterCard bank, and it is Horizon Credit Union, it says, Melanie Buchanan, Buchanan, is the executive assistant. This is not the girl that made me mad today. The girl that made me mad, I don't remember her name, but I've got it. So, uh, it's the branch manager of the Mount Carmel branch. So what happened was, I worked till eight o'clock last night, and then my 97 year old neighbor come over fussing at me. And then before I knew it, the kids are in bed and I didn't get to chill with them at all. So when I woke up this morning, I was getting ready for work. They're like, can we go, can we go? And I was like, well, the first half of my day is just paying bills. For the apartment so okay I'm like but we got to go so just hop in the car and y'all can at least ride with me now one of them's got on sweatpants no shoes no shirt another one's got on a full outfit uh, and then the other one has on shorts because he was getting ready to go swimming nobody has shoes on though so we stop at like eight different places and and as soon as we get in the car of course they're like I gotta pay I gotta pay I gotta pay well, I'm going to all these places, and I'm like, I don't really want y'all. Two of them's too big to carry, okay? I don't want y'all, like, really stepping in these bathrooms without shoes on. And I got time to run in Walmart and buy you flip-flops just so you can go pee. But two of them's also too big just to be peeing in the bushes. That little one probably could pee in the bushes, but... So, finally, I go to my 18,000 places I gotta go to. I grab them a burger, and we're headed to Horizon Credit Union. I want to make sure, because there's another Horizon something in this town, and I want to make sure that I'm not saying it wrong. 
I think the other one is like First Horizon Credit Union or something, but this one's just plain old Horizon. So, I go in ahead of these Rugrats and I ask them. I'm like, listen, um, now let me back up a little bit more. The branch manager of this bank and a couple of the tellers, I have bought like two and three hundred dollar purses off of. I've bought clothes off of them. I've like one of them's mama. I buy, uh, Lord, I can't even think of it now, but it's basically like, uh, kind of light Tupperware a little bit. Uh, like this is small town bullshit. Excuse my language, but it is. Excuse me while I smoke. I have to. I have to. Um, whatever. Like, I, they know I'm not a heathen. They know that, like, I'm in here every month to get my house payment. They know that I put money in savings every time I take money out of this card. I, they know that I've got, like, my little checking and savings account that I'm putting money back. They know that I love my kids. I've never told a bad story about my kids because my kids are good. They're kids, but they're good. I couldn't, I for real, couldn't ask for better ones. I couldn't, especially the stuff that's happened to us in our lives. They are good kids. Good kids. Well, so, I go in and I'm like, listen, ladies. And I'm being all funny about it, but I'm totally chill if they say no. I did not see a bathroom, but I know there has to be one there somewhere. And, uh, so, I go in and there's this one teller. When I pull up, the branch manager, who I know, is outside talking to the landscapers, okay? Well... I go in, I'm like, hey, my name is this, I need this much money, and I have a question. My boys have been troopers this morning and have held that pee. Do you care if they use your bathroom? And she's like, no, not at all. It's over here in the guy that they took a window and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, awesome. Thank you so much. I said, here's my card, here's my ID, here's my wallet, take whatever you need. I need $1,400. Well, I go get the boys and I'm like, hurry, 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 hurry. And I get them inside and the, the bathroom is like right inside the door. And no other um, customers were there. There was a lady in an office with her door open and there's this tailor. As I get the boys in the bathroom, I'm like, all, all three of y'all go in there. I'm gonna go back over here. Boys, help your little brother. Don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Well, and they, they already know that. They already know how to act. Shoot, they act better in public than they do at home. Um, but I go in there. Um, and I get the money and she's like, here you go. And this little girl that I'm dealing with is nice as I'll get out. Okay. Nice as I'll get out. And I go back. Oh, wait, I had to go back over there and be like, girl, the door is locked. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to bother you. I was trying to be as like courteous as I could be. And, um, I was, I got so mad. Um, she's like, it's fine. It's fine. She's so nice. Well, as she walks back, and I put the boys in the bathroom, and I walk back over there to get my money. She counts out my money. Here comes the branch manager. And uh, they're finally getting all them weeds up. I swear I have to stand out there over top of them to get them to do anything. Just talking mad smack about the landscapers who are out there. I could see them when I pulled up. Today is hot. I don't know if the Eastern Credit Union sign will tell us or not, but it is hot. So, um, has to be in the 90s. And they're out there in jeans and stuff. You know, they're hot. She comes in, um, they's trying to dig up that one bush and it ain't dead. I don't know why if they just come out here and water it. And, 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 and. and uh, I'm laughing at her because she's just like, why are you fussing about it? It don't matter. It's fine. But I don't say that. The woman gives me my money. Uh, I go back to the boys. I tell her, thank you. Have a good day. And I go back to the boys. And I'm like, the two big ones are outside the bathroom. And I was like, why did you leave the four-year-old in there? And the door's locked. And I was like, what are y'all doing? Go get in the car. So they run and get in the car. And um, my four-year-old comes out. And he's like, drying his little hands off with his paper towel. And I'm like, oh, my gosh go get in the car. So I go see him to the car or whatever. I come back in and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, I'm making sure nobody peed on the seat. Um, there's like some water on the, uh, mirror on the very bottom where the sink is. And I wipe that off 
and I'm looking like the inside of the toilet is disgusting, like disgusting. Like we didn't do that, that ain't been cleaned in a minute. Um, but I made sure there was no pee. Well, while I'm wiping off the mirror, I can hear the branch manager. And she's like uh, talking, well fussing, at this other girl that let us use the bathroom, or let the boys use the bathroom. And she's like, um, you don't, you don't let nobody use that bathroom. You don't let nobody use that bathroom. Um, sorry, my boss is texting me. You don't let nobody use it, that bathroom. Them heathen boys probably tore it to pieces. And she, I just instantly saw red. So I'm like, wah, 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 is all I'm hearing anymore. But I hear that little girl hit the door with her key trying to get in. And I'm just standing there like, what? What? And when she opened the door, I said, y'all didn't have to let us use the bathroom. I asked if it was okay. So you could tell her to go F herself. And that's what I said. And I got in my car. My boys were already buckled in and we left. Well, I got a piece down the road and I couldn't stand it no more. I couldn't stand it no more. I pulled over here at the Eastern Credit Union where people love me and I love them. I'd do anything for any of these people at the Eastern Credit Union. And I called up my friend. I said, you about to come get my kids. Because I'm liable to go to jail. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, <clears throat> this was just one thought. She's seen my kids. Even though she knows me. I mean, she don't know me in my real life. But, I mean, I bought stuff from her. Like, she knows that we're not, like, you know, destitute. Like, these kids are wearing this because, like, the big and he went to sleep in them, uh, uh, under armor sweatpants okay and then the middle one has on his nike swimming trunks because he was about to go jump in the pool and then the little one just didn't have shoes on he had on an outfit that he just got the other day i mean she knows we're not stealing nothing and we're not gonna go in there and tear their stuff up i just had three little boys that really had to go pee and she didn't know, what she didn't know was that I was still in the building. She thought that, plus I'm on the other end of the building and I can hear her clear as day. Just talking mad trash about how my kids probably tore her, uh, tore their bathroom all to pieces. While I'm in there making sure that the sink ain't got no water on it. And, I'm, and then, so, drop off my kids uh, at the Eastern Credit Union to my friend and, uh, I'm like, take these things to the house. I'm gonna go down here and deal with this woman. As soon as I came in, she's like, I'm sorry. I said, I know you are. I know you are. I wanna close my account. I wanna close my account. And I will drive to Kingsport if I have to. I will drive to Knoxville if I have to to get the money off a stupid child support card. I will not deal with that bank anymore. Never. I've never, I mean, I've been treated some certain ways in my day. I have never. And you know what? <clears throat> Instead of judging my kids for how they looked and assuming how they were going to act, the least you could do is talk smack about me that I let them out of the house like that. Oh, gosh. Like, I would love, and I know nobody's ever tr just punched that lady in the face. Never. Or she wouldn't, she wouldn't run her mouth like that. Talk about, it's like everybody's beneath her is like the attitude that she has. And I don't feel like anybody should act like that. Nobody. I don't care if you owe uh, Bezos over at the Amazon who takes all my money. I don't care if you're him. You don't need to be acting like you're better than anybody. Because you don't know what the other person's going through. You don't know how embarrassed I was to let my kids come in the bank like that. But that I was so desperate just to hang out with them for a minute that I had them in the car with me. I wouldn't even think about them having to go pee. I just wanted them with me. So, if y'all don't learn nothing from this, number one, you don't know who can hear you. And num number two, Jesus definitely can. Number three, don't bank with, not these people, Horizon Credit Union. And then, um, I also want to say that their landscapers are banging. 
and their landscapers are Fowl Creek. Where is it? Is that backwards? It's Fowl Creek LC. Cliff Ferguson is the owner, and his phone number is 423 306 3700. And if he can deal with that woman at the Horizon Credit Union, he can deal with any problem you've got. Now, y'all have a good day. Make some good choices. Don't bake with Horizon. Treat others as you want to be treated. Somebody needs to tell my neighbor that too. Oh, I need to make another video about the fireworks. And it wasn't even that neighbor that I messed up with the fireworks. It was the other neighbor. And they're still like, your boys are so pretty. Anyway, have a good day. Be good to each other. And think about what you're going to say before you say it. I love you guys.